Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and today we have a LEGO Dimensions video. This one happens to be level 7 free play, and it's called Glad to See You. And yes, this is the free play level for LEGO Portal, and it only requires the starter pack to get the mini kits involved in this here video. The rule breaker requirement is set at 150k, and uh, oh, to the end, we're gonna get a, a gold brick for getting that rule breaker, so make sure you got your 2x gold, gold brick, 2x red brick on and uh, let's go ahead and select our level now hey if you guys are just joining us and uh, maybe you're a little curious as to why we're not getting all of the mini kits well the game was designed with the trophy achievement list to be beaten and completed simply with the starter pack kit so there are more mini kits available in each of these levels and also many figs in peril that can be saved but we're going to come back and get some maybe all of them in our mixed play series because those actually require extra money and extra packs and uh, this way we want to make sure Sure everyone can get their platinum or thousand G without having to buy extra packs. So, all right, let's go ahead and get things started. Now, keep in mind that there is a trophy achievement too for completing this level in under 25 minutes. And I gotta be honest, we totally do not, we don't cut it this this uh, run. We uh, we have a speed run up that's pretty effective and uh, gives you some decent tips. You might check that out. But uh, for now, we're gonna go ahead and just get this level done and get the mini kits and rule breakers. So. All right, you saw us use the old relic scanner to reveal the ramp, which we then used the Batmobile to plow through and push that keystone terminal out. We fired the keystone terminal up, and it's given us some portals to shift through. And uh, we went ahead and selected the pink one first to go ahead and get us to that switch. We can see we've got a couple of switches we need to make, and uh, or flip, and we're going to go ahead and do that. Now, next you're going to need Gandalf, so go ahead and grab him and move him to the yellow portal on your toy pad, and it'll drop him up on this little level up here, which will give us the access to press that button and use Gandalf's magic to use the or move the cube and put it on place, so we can go ahead and open that final button. All right. So check it out, we have the level two build <laughs> backwards driving. Oh, ghost ride the whip off the edge there, watch out. And all right, so we got that first one. I think we got like one minute and like six seconds on our speed run. It was like 136 on that attempt. So a lot slower, but uh, we're more concerned about getting studs than we are with time, just because I wasn't sure. You know, you never really know how many studs you're gonna find throughout the level, but I gotta be honest, there is a couple of blues and a purple stash that we find here later in the level. So uh, I wouldn't farm too many studs or worry about it too much, because you get quite a bit. But you do need 150K and those blues and that purple only end up being like what 12,000 or something like that so all right we use wild style to use a relic scanner to go ahead and reveal some bits and build some bits and uh we'll go ahead and switch on over to batman and use his batarang and his grapple hook to go ahead and open up both of those doors now on the right side door you're probably familiar with all of that but we are actually going to switch to wild style and use the acrobatic wall in the back to jump up to the first mini kit so all right uh, these are like the cores, like power core of some sort. Kind of looks like Wheatley almost, but uh, it's a power core from Portal. So very cool stuff. Now, uh, you probably noticed a little notation down at the bottom. There are quick links down below in the video description to quickly get you to the next collectible. But if you're here hanging out or maybe you uh, are unsure how to play this level or maybe you want to see me fail miserably at driving this vehicle up onto the ramp here. Boy, I, I, I got to be honest. I, I wanted to delete this and, and you know edit it out, but I figured it was beneficial. I'm not sure if it's user error here or if you look at the actual build of the build 2 here, it's got this like lower lip on the front. Whoa! And uh, that lip is actually budding up with the ramp, and it's not working out in our favor. We get it eventually, though, as you can see. It, it, it is possible to use Batmobile Build 2 for a vehicle treadmill. That one was a little bit weird. I, I don't really run into that in any other situation, at least not that I can remember, so... Whew. All right, uh, we're going to go ahead and activate the keystone terminal for the chroma puzzle here. And you can see we've got red on the top, blue on the left, and green on the right. Of course, we know yellow and blue make green, so we're gonna. We got Batman on the right side of our pad, and we've got Wildstyle on the left, and we're gonna go ahead and put Gandalf on the middle there, and yeah, well, you saw it. 
If you need toy pad help, we do have all the toy pad stuff included in our story video. So if you're having trouble solving a particular puzzle, or uh, maybe you just want to see the toy pad itself in action, we've got that covered in our story video. So, all right, I had a little bit of an elemental crisis there for a second. I switched to electricity a little prematurely there. And uh, you want fire to go ahead and get to that first ramp, and then as soon as you get landed, you're going to go ahead and switch to electricity to get past the shocking status of the next little ramps. Start by flipping the switch and dropping the ball up top. Now, keep in mind, even if you know the pattern and how to beat this, this can still be a pain in the buttle. And uh, so uh, basically what you want to do is stand on the right terminal and let it charge up. But uh, make sure that before it gets fully charged, you actually shoot and charge the left terminal. Now, it, the second one, once it gets on the second level, you just want to charge the right one again. Because the right one controls the actual ball propulsion or, you know, knocking it around, the, the slammers. And uh, the left one controls the little barriers that uh, the force fields that it rolls over. So anyhow, you'll get it figured out. And if you need instructions or great detail, like I said, we do have that covered in the story video for this level. So, all right, to make things quick, we go ahead and switch to Batman. But watch this. He gets stuck. This is a weird deal. Again, probably user error somehow, but I'm not sure what was going on there. The elevator did not want to go up. We finally make our way up and begin room three. And this one's pretty simple. If you guys remember, you just head on over to the far right side down low and use Batman's grapple hook to pull down a keystone terminal. Now, a uh, quick reminder, there are quick links down below in the video description. If you guys are in a hurry or maybe tired of hearing me flap my yepper, go ahead and click that quick link. Boy, that's a, that's a tongue twister and uh, get to the next mini kit. But uh, if you're gonna hang out, go ahead and use the locate keystone to find the locational spot. Open up the rift, it happens to be kind of right in front of the old doorway that we need to advance through here. And once the tree comes in, he throws some of his limbs at the bad guys and clears a path. And we're gonna go ahead and turn on and then turn off and snag up them studs that come popping out. And, uh, well, we got to get through up top using the scale puzzle, but, uh, or completing a scale puzzle, but we got to turn it on below first. So luckily for us, our other characters were still down below since we got a little anxious and ran up top. But uh, whichever character you choose, go ahead and slide on through the miniature door and go up top. And you're going to find a green pad that you need to get on and make yourself grow big and tall. Yep, eat your Wheaties, boys and girls. All right, so we went ahead and flipped those guys off the edge there. And that's going to give us a safe passage all the way down. We're going to need Gandalf and his magic up here to take out the Mega Turret. Realistically, uh, because we're super awesome and we have the build two of the Batmobile, you could probably work your way in and use the old from that. But uh, it's just as easily done by using Gandalf and his magic, huh? All right, once you get both of the glass shields broken on either side, giving you access to both switches, well, it gets a little about timing and a little bit tricky here. And, you know, I'm not sure. Every time I've come to this part of the puzzle, I always run into this. And I, I know the AI is supposed to be real smart. I think what you need to do is turn off the old scale keystone. I think if you turn that off, you'd have better luck. Because right now I've only got two characters that are normal size and can flip the switch. And having a third one might help, but basically you got to flip them both in time so that both of those switches are active at the same time and open the door up top. So a little confusing, a little bit, I don't know. It's not really confusing. It's pretty simple, really. It's just a matter of getting the timing right. This level really is all about timing. There's a little bit of figure this out and figure that out, but a lot of it simply comes down to the timing. Like, well, we'll find out here in this room as well, because... Once we open up the keystone terminal here, we're gonna find that we have a locate and, well, we got a couple of them. We're gonna use the locate first though. And if we remember correctly, yep, it's right over here, kind of right in the middle, but uh, almost to where it goes from gray to white or white to gray, depending on which way you're going. But you'll find it, go ahead and push that button until that meter fills up and Doc comes in with his choo-choo and plows through all of those boxes. Now, I know I was talking about timing a minute ago. Well, here's where it comes into handy. You got to switch the old keystone terminal over to the elemental keystone. 
And uh, at this point, you have to push the electric side so that you can go ahead and move that pad to bounce it up and down. And now we got to flip it just at the right time so that it actually pushes the power over to the far right side core and activates. Well, it kind of looks like it went in. It looks like it went from A to B and then it came out C. I don't know. I'm not sure if that's what it is. But uh, we've got another flaming power ball in the back there. We're going to go ahead and use the... Terminal one more time to activate the shift keystone. And again, it's all about timing. This one actually requires you to move your character or minifig onto the toy pad at the right time. Now, the blue one's pretty easy because it just simply activates the uh, first section and then it bounces back and forth. Uh, now, the yellow one is certainly important, as you can see the timing there. Once it bounces off the lower one and it's heading up towards the next one, or basically... Uh, let's see, how do I say this? Once it bounces off the last one of the current area and you're going to the next one, go ahead and move it to the next area. I, maybe that makes, I don't know if that makes sense or not. Hopefully you don't need any information and you know what's going on already because you've already watched our story or our speed run video for that matter. All right, so room complete. And a little note just again, a reminder, we do have the quick links down below if you're in a hurry to get that mini kit. We're still a couple five minutes out or so from the next mini kit. So, yeah, this is a long level. It, it's a fun level, I got to be honest. I'm a big fan of the Portal series, and, uh, you know, I look forward to a future Portal game, to be honest with you. I don't know if there's one supposedly in the works or not, but uh, I certainly would be excited about it if there was. Now, uh, we're, we kind of did this out of order of the way we did it in story. Pretty sure we uh, started off with the scale keystone in the story, whereas we started off with the locate this time. It doesn't really matter, and I think that's kind of why we did it. We wanted to show that there really wasn't any like special or particular order that this room needed to be solved in. But uh, that being said, we uh, used the old scale to get miniature, and we switched on up and over. We smashed everything in sight because we're still like, uh-oh. Are we going to get that rule breaker or not? We move Gandalf from one side of the pad to the other to make him large and in charge. And he goes ahead and drops that chroma pad for us down on the ground. Now, last but not least, we have to uh, get over on the right-hand side and smash these cubes. These cubes actually reveal some treadmill parts. So we'll build those up into a vehicle treadmill. And cross your fingers, we don't have troubles getting on this thing again. Alrighty, we're gonna mount on up. Here we go. Bam! Right up in there. When in doubt, punch it, right? That's how you use speed to get up in there that time. Alright, when we use it effectively, it actually gives us this uh, little conveyor belt, which has a cube on it. And we can use Gandalf's magic to float that cube on over. And now we've got like this little reflection puzzle that we have to do. We're going to go ahead and aim this guy. It's, you know, you normally you follow the green and you push green as go, but that particular case, it actually works better if you just hop over and move it just a little bit with the uh, red sign. Now, this one, we want to aim it eventually at that box, but we have to clear a path to that red chroma pad there. So make sure you spin it all around and knock that one little turret out there, that sentry turret. We got him out of the way, and now we can go ahead and solve the puzzle. So Gandalf's obviously in the middle of our toy pad because we made him blue, and we got... Oh, wow, style on the far right, which means Batman is going to have red on him. I'm surprised no one's called me out on that yet. That's that's from a, one of my favorite movies, You've Got Red on You. No one said anything yet, though. I'm surprised, because I would figure a lot of you guys would have probably seen this movie. It's a kind of an older movie at this point. Not older. Older than, like, you know, 8, 10 years old or so. Something like that. All right, we've got the room solved, but the room is broken. And GLaDOS is kind of telling us she's going to shift some things around, and it doesn't work out in our favor. But luckily for us, uh, we get a surprise guest appearance on the right here. I won't ruin it as he's about to pop out in about five, four. Oh, he was ahead of me. Look at that. It's Wheatley. All right, he's going to help us out, but we actually have to use Gandalf's magic and pull these four screws out before he can help us. And I do want to make note, too, that we probably will return with Chell once we do our Portal Level Pack unboxing. And uh, you can see on the back wall there, there is a couple of Portal spots that you can actually shoot the Portal gun at. And uh, Chell would be able to get through that. So that's how you get that mini kit in the back, if you were wondering. And speaking of mini kits, we're getting closer to that next one. Uh, like I said, if you guys are in a hurry... Uh, feel free to use those quick links. For one, we won't know that you did unless you tell us. And, uh, you know, so it won't hurt our feelings, I guess, is what we're saying. 
And all right, so Wheatley, long little speech here. Again, if you guys are interested in what Wheatley's saying, and I'm talking right over him, we do have a story video, which uh, I let him do most, if not all, of the talking. And we eventually sneak by him, though, and we get into this new room over here. And this actually happens to be the room where the next mini kit is. So, oh, yeah. You can see we've got a series of things. We've got a relic scan up top, and usually a relic scan reveals what? That's right, a grapple hook. And then we can also see that there's some stars up top. So we got to use Gandalf's magic up top. So there we go. Oh, look at that. I spoiled it for you. It is, in fact, a grapple hook. Now, there's this little area over here. You get to see it a couple times with the way the camera moves and stuff. I thought maybe Wild Style and her double jump might be able to make it over there, but no such luck. Uh, I'll have to bring a flying character in at some point and see if there's anything over there. My, my guess is that there is something, whether it's just like some purple stud or, you know, I, I feel like there's something over there, but maybe not. If you guys know, of course, you could drop a comment down below. Otherwise, we're going to make our way all the way up top, and instead of using Gandalf's magic right away, we're going to use this little ledge to drop down on, and look at that. We've got another wild-style relic scan. This one, oh, look at that. It changed it up on us. It's a Batarang terminal this time, so go ahead and spin to win, and that's right. Once it actually lights up and gives the old power down below, it shoots up the old Power Core mini kit, so woohoo! Two mini kits down and one to go, at least for this video. And, uh, you know, we haven't heard a lot from you guys. I, I figured a lot of you guys would be questioning, you know, why we're only doing the starter pack or, you know, why aren't you doing more characters along the way. But I, I think you guys all get it. And hopefully you guys didn't go out and spend a ton of money on those extra packs, um, assuming that you needed them. Because really, in order to get the 100%, you don't. So that's pretty nice. Lego and TT games was pretty, uh, they were pretty awesome about that. All right, now this room we come to, we have all five keystones. We're going to go ahead and start with the locate, and it's actually directly out from the terminal on the right-hand side. We're going to go ahead and hit that button until the meter fills and open up a rift here, which actually brings in a Dalek. And the Dalek takes out the two sentry turrets and gives us access to get in and use Gandalf's magic. Now make sure you grab those bluesies. If you're like us, you probably haven't hit that 150,000 yet. And we're going to do that in this room as well, though. See, I thought, oh, maybe there's some hidden studage back here. Nope. No such luck. But on the left-hand side, once we solve a couple more puzzles, we actually find a little kind of a secret room. It's not really a room. It's more of like a little cubby hole. But uh, we'll show you right where it's at here in a second. Next, we're going to switch to the shift psych scale. That's right. I, I won't lie. My, my computer screen froze up for a second here. My memory on my computer must be low. Um, all right. We go ahead and we get all the way through. And uh, we have to switch back to normal size once we get through the little miniature tunnel. And flip that switch, which drops the yellow chroma pad. Now, if you look up top, you can actually see the next mini kit we're going to get. It's up there with Gandalf's magic starry bits floating there. But uh, we're going to actually solve the rest of this and actually get the other chroma pad out. And you can do that by running over and switching to the elemental keystone. And first, got to put out the fire with water. And then we're going to switch on over to the earth element. And uh, we fill up the meter, and oh, there's the chroma pad, bluesy, and look at that. We're going to use Gandalf's magic, too, and pull down that medikit. Woohoo! All right, and by using the earth element, it actually gave us access to that cubby, which we got in and got that purple and the bluesies. So look at that. We got rule breaker and the third medikit all within a couple of seconds. Now, at this point, that's all of the collectibles or important stuff that we're going to get in this particular video. So feel free to go ahead and uh, save and exit. Make sure you save and exit. If you don't save, you're going to have to do this all over again. We're going to go ahead and finish this level out. And uh, we're going to do that by solving this puzzle here. It's a pretty simple color solution. We did have to mix and match the little colors there. But uh, it actually opened up a door for us. And we can flip that switch, giving us the first of... Well, two power points that need to be flipped in order to get through the door. Now, the next one is actually going to be a little tricky, too. We have to use the old shift keystone. And it's all about timing. You have to uh, plan it through the yellow shift portal just before it gets to where you want. So uh, make sure you take your time. I mean, I guess worst case scenario, you drop onto the spikes and you lose a few uh, studs. But uh, all in all, we uh, flip the switch in the yellow, which freeze the gas on the right or removes it I guess and then we can go ahead and move it over to the pink portal flip the switch and that gives us access to get on out of here so we'll switch to the Batman and get out of here 
So pretty much all we have left is the battle with GLaDOS. Now, rumor is, and a couple of you guys have tested this for us. Now, if you're doing the speed run, rumors are that you can actually save and uh, exit right here. And when you return and load this level, you should start off right here again. Um, it, that being the case, your 25 minute timer supposedly restarts. Now, we didn't make a video for this because we didn't physically test this. Like I said, a few of you have tested it and reported that it does work, but we're not standing by it quite yet. So if you guys want to try it, if you haven't gotten that speed run or maybe you're having problems with it, you're welcome to try that. Otherwise, you're going to want to dodge the three attacks and uh, move your character around every time she grapples you. And I think we got one more of those coming up. Or no, maybe not. She actually rewards us with a bunch of studs and uh, also gives us a keystone terminal. So... This one happens to be a, oh, look at that. It's the old shift keystone. This is one of my least favorite parts about this level, only because it just seemed kind of repetitive and uh, like kind of a time waster. Uh, I get it. Maybe they just needed some fill space. And, and, and maybe I'm missing something. Maybe this references something from one of the two Portal games or something else. I, I don't know. But regardless, you're going to have to use Wild Style on the blue side, the left side, and uh, use the Relic Scanner to reveal a grapple hook, which then move Batman over to the blue side too, and use it, and then it'll rip it down, and give us access and free us from the gas in the middle or lower pink section. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and um, use Spin to Win, and make our way over to the yellow portal side, where we can go ahead and use the Relic Scanner one last time to reveal a Gandalf magic spot. Spin that around, and that'll go ahead and complete this part of the puzzle. She takes those parts away, and look at that. She starts chewing us out. We get a Locate Keystone, which we're going to go ahead and activate. And we're, it's actually kind of, what, about 1 o'clock, 1, 1, 1.15-ish uh, or something like that, if you're looking at it from above, um, kind of upper right side. Uh, you're going to actually pull out HAL 9000, though, from the, the old uh, Space Odyssey movie, 2001. And uh, if you haven't seen that, you owe it to yourself. It's an old sci-fi classic. And uh, all right, we're trying to mix and match here. And oh, look at this. This happened to us earlier, too, in when we were doing our original speed run. But we couldn't. We weren't sure if you could get the cake or not. We didn't want to like ruin it for you guys. If if it, this didn't happen to you, we've played this level like four or five times now, and that's only happened twice. So I mean, I guess that's pretty good odds. But at the same time, we wanted to make sure that you guys could get it right. So after I mixed this up, look, I was trying to mix purple, and I mixed yellow and blue to make green. Whoops. Anyways, I finally get the right mixture. We get the parts needed in order to build a vehicle ramp. And now we just need a vehicle, which, if you remember, mine was down low. So if yours gets stuck down there, just pull it off the toy pad and move it up uh, to another spot, and it'll pull itself all the way up. And, all right, let's see if we can get up this ramp. All right, we ran over Wild Style. We're going to run over Gandalf, too. E nope. All right. Pow! Right in the badunka dunk again. And uh, she loses a bunch of junk from her trunk. And look at that. It looks like another power core or a mini kit, which would have been kind of cool, but... No such luck. She reveals the cake, but then brings on the fire. All right. Wheatley comes in to do some heroing, or uh, I, I guess we're going to call it that. And uh, truth be told, he uh, makes a little flub up, and he pushes the wrong button, and the flames get a little bit brighter and hotter. So we recommend you stay right in the middle of where you were and just kind of stand right on the front side of that soiko. You can see I'm standing right where we recommend. And uh, here in a second, we'll get that uh, keystone. Any second now. Come on, flip the right switch, Wheatley. Come on, come on. Look at, look at Wild Style break dancing in the back. That was awesome. All right, we got the old, uh, yep, water. Going to go ahead and put out the fire because we didn't start the fire. Okay, not a bad sh shot here. I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I'm taking out my teammates in my vehicle, too. And keep in mind, we're not in a time-based situation here, so we didn't really care. We were just kind of shooting. And uh, All right, once all the fire is put out, the cake's revealed. You can run in, and since the cutscene's removed, that takes us right to the final total screen, and booyaka shao! You know, I'd like to think that that's the last time I'm going to play that level, but we already kind of promised that we'd probably come back and play it with Chell once we opened up our... Portal level pack. All right, we got the rule breaker, which was 150k, and uh, we did not save the mini. I guess it was a mini core in peril this time. We did get three mini kits, though. 
And uh, we also got the gold brick for that and a continued story. Oh, look at this. You know what this means. This is going to wrap it up for LEGO Dimensions Level 7. Glad to see you free play. And yet we just proved all three mini kits that we promised were found. And uh, hey, hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. And hopefully you're enjoying the starter pack, uh, I guess, Road to Completion. I mean, that's what we're actually going after here is that platinum or 1,000G and oh, to the end. Hey, if you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions for us, we advise you to head on over to our social pages. Of course, assuming you didn't want to comment here, but, uh, you know, we got links down below, but they just is Facebook, Twitter, or, you know, comment down below like we just suggested. And uh, before I botch too much more of this, last little outro here. Why don't we go ahead and just say HappyThumbsGaming.com is the home of our product and gaming reviews as well as our trophy achievement guides and we really uh, would love to see you over there. Boy, I can't believe I got that uh, out without flubbub and that, right? Alright, flubbub-dub-dub. Alright, that's gonna wrap it up for me as always. Until next time...